So, about, well, a year ago today, actually, I s stopped smoking marijuana completely for good. Um, I started walking this process of stopping smoking marijuana based on what I learned through the Destiny material. Also, what I realized within myself and who I was within the smoking weed, um, that it basically caused me to, or it was basically an escape um, distraction to not have to face myself, not have to face what's here, and, you know, get, you know, an en a little bit of entertainment and high... Um, to, you know, not have to face myself. So, I realized that it was an escape and realized that it was not who I wanted to be here. And so I started the process of stopping it and... It took me about a year to completely stop the addiction, stop the constant thoughts of smoking, stop the patterns of how I lived as smoking a few times a day and having little rituals when I smoked. So getting out of all that programming, doing self-forgiveness and just walking it. It took me months to completely let go of all the energies that went with it and thoughts and desires and eventually stopping the smoking completely so I have now been smoke free, weed free for a year and I don't miss it which is funny I don't desire it anymore I don't need it anymore. I don't think about it anymore. Um, I mean there's fleeting moments where it will kind of come up but I let it go pretty pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, so it's, you know, I've proved to myself that I can stop patterns, I can stop addictions. I mean this was a heavy, heavy addiction one of the main ones. Um, I smoked for years, multiple times a day, so I was addicted to it. And, you know, I proved to myself that I can stop these addictions, these physical addictions, you know, walk through a pattern and release it through self forgiveness, release, release it through, you know, walking the change, letting go of the energies. It's staying self-disciplined, um, dedicated to becoming um, self-responsible and trusted within who I am and what I'm doing. So I wanted to walk that and prove it to myself that I could do it. And, you know, I realized that as you walk these points, it becomes easier because your addiction and um, you know, the energies and patterns and the thoughts that kind of attach themselves to this entity as smoking weed all kind of releases themselves and it, you know, frees you up, so to speak, within yourself and you just, it kind of all releases and you kind of shed that, those patterns and programming and thoughts and addictions, desires, um, letting all of it go through the walking, staying disciplined, 
saying, staying self-dedicated to yourself to prove to yourself that you can do it. Um, so it was a cool process to walk through a cool point because um, I was so heavy into it and it was tough. It wasn't an easy walk. It wasn't an easy journey by any means, but it's diminished greatly now and I don't even think about it anymore and it's not even a part of my life anymore. So, you know, just to show people that are walking this process that these addictions can be let go of even if, I mean, I never thought I could stop smoking weed. It wasn't even, it was something I was going to do for the rest of my life because I enjoyed it so much and it was such like a part of who I was. And so, um, even if you have that addiction within you and you don't think you can let it go, you don't think that you can, you know, stop doing it or it can not be a part of your life, um, you know, it can. You can let it go. You can walk this, the tool, self-forgiveness, self-corrective action, self-honesty, and release these patterns within you because that's all they are. It's just, you know patterns that have become hard within you and become so molded within you that it seems like it can never change but once you start to walk it start being self-disciplined start s dedicating yourself to this change um, you can will it to be and you can change it's it's possible um, and it's also a you know, I fell a few times, but once you fall, you just realize yourself, who you are, and you stand back up and you keep walking. So it's not to judge yourself or um, go into, you know, thoughts and patterns of judgment or, you know, added systems within you, but just to release those points, release the judgment let go of it and just keep walking keep pushing yourself keep willing yourself even if it takes a year two years to do it it can be done it's just a matter of your own self will your own self dedication and you know who you are within what you're walking as your process so um, now that I've let go of this, of this addiction, I'm starting to face, you know, the mind patterns, the anger, the irritation I feel towards others, the conflict in my world, um, you know, the underlying patterns that I was covering up and escaping from through smoking the weed have now come up and are prominent points within my world that I'm seeing and now I'm starting to walk through the mind patterns of these um, points that are affecting my world and that I want to walk through and let go of and stop. Um, so it's kind of the mind patterns after you walk the physical patterns is the addictions and things like that. You start to open up within yourself the mind patterns that you know, have to be walked through as well. The fears, the anger, um, and what the origins of those points within yourself. That's what I'm starting to walk now, so it's cool. Um, just keep, keep walking, keep pushing myself, and transcending to become one and equal. So, thanks for listening, and enjoy.